Hello, my name is Jane Clark and I'm delighted to make this 10 minute video to mark the first Solace Nua poetry group which will meet once a month and will read and discuss the work of a contemporary Irish poet. Uh, as it happens, the first book that they're going to consider, that you're going to consider, is uh, When the Tree Falls, which is my recent collection published by Blood Axe Books. Um, I thought I'd read two poems from the collection and also talk a bit about uh, drawing the collection together and that, that process over four years of building that collection. So maybe if I start by reading a poem in it, there's a section in the centre which sort of deals with social change in Ireland and in the four years I was writing the book there was lots to celebrate in terms of marriage equality and in terms of the referendum which permitted the government to legislate for abortion. So these are some of the really good things happening. But, of course, it wasn't all straightforward. And in the summer of 2018, there was a terrible homophobic attack on uh, two men in Port Leash. And when I read about it in the paper, I realised that a hurl had been used to attack these men. And I was, there was something about uh, the juxtaposition of the, the violence of the attack with what I know about hurls and you know anybody who lives in rural Ireland knows that there's hurls everywhere and that they're used for all kinds of wonderful things in country life as well as Ronnie as, as the wonderful sport they're part of um, and so I wanted to juxtaposition to think what it'd be like for someone who made hurls and to hear that it was used in that way. The hurly maker. Under the green grey bark of ash, he seeks malleable wood to shape from curving handle to rounded boss. He thins the body till it bends like a bow, springs like a whip, then planes and sands it, sleek as a thoroughbred's pelt. He's seen his hurlies hush cows up the lane after milking, knock hogweed out of a ditch, hoist buckets from a tank, lift ladybirds to count their spots. He's watched young lads practice roll lifts, dribbles and solos, the way ravens play with the wind. Years he's waited for his county to raise the cup, but the day his hurley struck two men kissing was the first time he thought to give up. So, um, a little bit more about the collection as a whole. I wrote it from between 2015, after my first book, The River, came out, and 2019. And during that time, I met you know, some poet friends who would say to me, how does it feel to be bringing out a second collection? And I suppose especially after the good, very good reception for the river, and there were lots of people who really loved that collection. People said, you know, are you a bit daunted to bring out another one? And it, I was, definitely. And, uh, but what I felt is that these poems belong together, and that there were the poems I needed to write, that I had to write, and that, you know, in bringing them together, I hoped I was making something that had an identity of its own. Like, it's very part of the work, it's very personal to me, but I wanted something that would stand on its own and that I could offer to the reader to make their own. And so in that time, my father was becoming increasingly unwell and weaker. And also my very good friend, uh, Shirley McClure, who's also a poet, uh, became uh, very unwell and I accompanied both of them through their illnesses and their deaths and so it's a book of mourning, it's a book of grief uh, but it's also a book of love and of celebrating love um, despite uh, that whenever we love there's the risk of losing um, and maybe we love all the more because of that. 
and it's a book of nature as well. Um, so I'm going to read the poem that uh, is the title poem. Now actually I had the title before I wrote the poem because back in the summer of uh, 2017, which was about six months after my father died, I read uh, the Mary Lavin short story in the middle of the fields and there's one line there, it's when the tree falls how can the shadows stand? And when I read that, I thought, that's the title for my book. I had no doubt about it. And uh, then after my father died, uh, you know, a whole year after that, um, a tree fell across the Suck, the river on the farm where I grew up. And I used to go down and sit there. And that tree uh, showed me a lot about the life that emerges after a death. And so I, that inspired this poem. When the tree falls into the river, it slows the current. Water pools in the hollows it makes. Pike and trout find a new place to hide. Beetles, mayfly and mites feed on leaf litter. The mossy trunk lies still as a bridge. A kingfisher settles, watches for minnow. Branches reach for the light, noble with new buds. So I hope that the Solis Nua Poetry Group is noble with new buds and goes on to flourish and to provide enjoyment and uh, learning and companionship for all of you. Thanks very much.